Good evening, Divine Feminine. We're just going to do a little quick energy check and see what's going on for you this weekend and what's coming for the week ahead, okay? I did a short earlier and I used the Cupid's Arrow Oracle cards. So first, I would like to welcome you all to Diamond Divinity Tarot. I thank you for your time, your energy, and your likes and any donations that you do choose or those who have already donated. I do thank you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to see what's going on with your energy. Okay, we're going to get and see what's going on with the masculine, with the divine masculine. Okay, let's just see what you need to know. Please let me know how this message resonates with you. I do like to interact with all of all of the readers. So someone is manifesting you. And they want to come in and apologize. So we have apology, forgiveness through mutual understanding. So someone wants to apologize either to you or you want to apologize to the divine masculine. That's what spirit is letting me know. However, one of you, flip it and switch the roles, one of you are manifesting the other. Someone is using the law of attraction and their thoughts are becoming things. So the connection will probably reconnect very soon. If you are not in union, you will be very soon. You both are very dedicated to one another. And Spirit is saying, stay dedicated to your goals right now. Focus on yourself. Just like the short um, had in it. It was more so focusing, telling the divine feminine, you yourself, to focus on yourself right now. And it says efforts that will reap success. So focus on yourself right now. Internalize your love. It's time to love on yourself right now. And then the communication will come in. This is a continuation of the message. I'm just channeling, guys, okay? So just a little bit of insight. What I do here on Diamond Divinity Tarot, I do channel. I also receive downloads and I receive messages. You could be seeing 222, as I stated in the short. 222 is for union with your person. If you're already in union and if you want to attract your person through the law of attraction, then you would, or manifestation, you would use 333, okay? So if you're seeing either of those, either 222 or 333, you will either, you're already in connection in union with your divine masculine, or you will be very soon. And Spirit is letting you know that use the wisdom that you've gained. Knowledge gained through experiences or from a wise counselor. So someone is coming in into your energy very soon. I'm not sure who this person is, Spirit is saying it's your twin flame. It's your twin flame, divine feminine. Your twin flame is coming, okay? And they are going to bring you the wisdom that you need. So your twin flame is going to bring you the wisdom that you need. I heard it very clearly. That's the peace that surpasses all understanding. So, yeah. And right now, it's time for you to release what no longer serves you, okay? You're going to have to release what no longer serves you right now. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Once it's over, you will receive the communication that you need, all right? But right now, it's time for you to overcome the obstacles of what you've dealt with from the divine masculine, okay? And you're going through a, a spiritual awakening right now. That's what was the main card that stuck out to me that made me want to do this reading for you all. You are going through a spiritual awakening right now. I'm going to leave that on the upright. Okay. So you're definitely going through that. I just want to tap into the energy and, and see what's going on with the divine masculine. Those are in union. Type A 333. In the chat for me. And those who would like union, type type two two two. I'm gonna do a ritual this week. So if that's something you want to be involved with, just leave it in the comment section. Two 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 for union. If you're in connection with your person, your divine masculine, or three three three. If you are looking to come into union. 
with your Divine Masculine, okay? So, Spirit says shuffle this way and then shuffle that way. So, I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend thus far. And I do invite you to come back. Just take a look around. If you see anything that interests you, take a look. And I do offer personal readings. So if that's something that interests you, you can find the information down in the description box, okay? Let's just see what's going on with the Divine Masculine, okay? Spirit, what do we need to know about the Divine Masculine? What is going on with the Divine Masculine right now? What does Divine Feminine need to know? Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. They're working hard on themselves. That's on the bottom of the deck. They're working very hard on themselves right now. They're doing their shadow work and they don't wanna be the reason that you are crying, okay? However, they wanna know have they lost you completely right now. They wish things were different. They still feel the love. They knew it all along, but because of the way that they treated you, they are receiving their karma right now. And that could be with the this karmics that they are with right now, that's gonna take them through the troubles that they have to go through. But they wanna know, is there a second chance? And for some of you, I heard third, fourth, fifth, you could be seeing the numbers 444 as well. However, they can't hold back any longer. So they're definitely coming towards you very soon. If you're not in union, you could be seeing four, five, six. If you're not in union with your person, with your divine masculine, they are coming, okay? They are coming. Let's see what's next. What's coming towards you all in this union or before the union. Let's see what you need to know about this connection. Same proposal and I see a relationship. Spirit is saying roll the dice on this new connection that you have. That's what I heard. So that was a download that I just heard. Some of you, watch out because some of these um, karmic masculines are coming in just for a hookup, okay? Spirit's that right hand, okay? That was there on my right hand, so be careful. One night stand, intimacy, casual relationship, or flame. Some of them are coming in just for that. So you have to be very careful when you're choosing. But you do have a partner coming in. A serious commitment with someone, either a partner, a past relationship. I know some of you don't want to hear that, but you do need to. But it's either that or a serious commitment. Like I said, a girlfriend or boyfriend. Something along those lines. But you're going to need to heal first. And then you're going to party, party, party. You're going to be healing from the snake. Or you're going to be dealing with one that may be what's come, coming towards you. So that you know in this new connection, who was the snake in your past connection? Because somebody was wearing a mask. Somebody was wearing a mask when they came towards you. They definitely were. And it's your soulmate. It's your soulmate. But they want to build a, build a family with you. They truly do. They just have work to do. That's why the healing is there. And some of them have legal matters, but it's causing them a lot of anxiety. Some of them have legal matters because they're coming out of separation with someone else. Some of them were married and have to go through a divorce. Spirit said. But just know, the karmics and the divine masculines are having a breakup very soon. They are having a breakup very soon. So, and it's going to be because of divine intervention. Spirit is, is running this. Spirit is bringing this together. So, it, it, they just have to surrender. Period. That's, that's just what it is. It's time to surrender and speak the truth. Surrender and speak the truth. And you all are going to be moving in together and build on financial abundance together. <laughs> so, let's see what else you guys need to know. What is being hidden in this connection? What would they like to say? How are they feeling? 
How are the divine, your divine masculines feeling at this moment? Let's see. You guys remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. If you are not a member, I would love to have you here. Become a part of the Diamond Divinity Gems. I will be doing exclusive readings over on the channel for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminines on a regular basis, okay? So that's just for channel members who are a part of the, the special collective group, okay? My gems, I call them. Spirit, what does we need to... Spirit, what does the divine feminine need to know about the divine masculine or this connection that's coming towards her? What does she need to know? What does divine feminine need to know, spirit? What does she need to know? What does divine feminine need to know, spirit? Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Yeah, I told you some of them are in a connection right now. So they're wishing they can go back in time and do this all over again and they would choose you every time. I heard it very loud and clear. However, some of them, majority, are in a committed relationship with the karmic right now. They are in a committed relationship with the karmic. And that's where I saw the legal matters. Some of them married their karmic and need to get out. However, right now, they can't reach out to you right now. So if you haven't heard from them, they just can't reach out right now. It's something going on with the karmic and they're trying to alleviate themselves from that matter, okay? That's what spirit told me you need to know. All right, let's see what you need to know as far as, oh, thank you, spirit. So this up here, okay. These karmics are really doing a number on the, these divine masculines. They are doing a serious number on their head and their heart. So just take that into consideration. Um, some of them are even playing in magic, okay? Black magic, sex magic, things of that nature because they know the connection that you all have. They have been made aware of the connection that you and your divine masculine have, okay? Anything else, spirit? Anything else, spirit? No? Okay. Make sure nothing's hooked up. You guys hit the like button for me. It just helps get the message out to the other divine feminines, helps grow the channel, and it does a favor for me. Helps me grow, all right? Okay, so they know that you're irreplaceable. The way that you love them can never be matched. That's why they're coming back. They're definitely coming back towards you, okay? However, the disagreements that you guys have, they're saying, I wish you understood how I feel. They don't wanna argue anymore. They just want peace and contentment in the relationship, okay? All right, let's just see what they... I'm going to close the messages, what they want to say. And we're going to close this out, guys. What do you guys need to know about this connection moving forward from spirit? From God, your ancestors, your spirit guides, or your angels, whatever you subscribe to. Let's just see what messages they have for you in love. And we're going to close this out, guys. Like I said, I will have a longer reading for the channel members who are in the special gym group, okay? This is just to give you a little weekend preview, okay? All right, so challenges are to overcome and bring us to a stronger bond. They're not supposed to break us apart. So Spirit is saying, even though you guys are going through issues, you're not in a connection right now. It's sometimes necessary to take a step back 
and reevaluate the situation and come back with a clear head. And it's supposed to build and bring you guys closer and build a stronger bond than to tear you apart. Okay, because these karmics are doing a lot. They are really doing a lot. But however, um, I've been giving you love, devotion, and receiving nothing but your criticism and pain. So this is goes on both parties is what I'm hearing. Spirit is saying that both of you love one another. The, the love is not a question. Divine masculine or divine feminine. Towards one another, divine feminine to the divine masculine. It's not a question of whether or not you love one another. It's just that it's too much criticism right now when you're trying to build a connection. When you're trying to build a solid foundation, it's a little hard to keep being criticized, okay? So just pay attention to that when you're having conversations or when you do receive this communication, okay? It's hard to show, but I do care about you so much. And that's both parties. You both care about one another. You both care about one another. However, it's time right now for you guys to, you know, Understand that your love for one another is unconditional. It's truly unconditional. It's unmatched. All right. The love that you have for one another is totally unmatched. And spirit wants you to move forward in, in, with yourself right now. You have to focus on yourself while if you are not in union with your person, spirit is telling you to focus on yourself right now. If you are in union, just be careful. Roll the dice. Know this is your soulmate. They want to build a family with you. However, but take into consideration they may have some legal matters going on behind the scene that they are not that they're scared to tell you about. Okay? All right, divine feminines, I thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Come back later for more. Um, as I will be doing more readings. All right. Thank you guys. Until later. Bye.